Hi, this is Bill Kulterman. This demo on adjusting images is from my Word 2010 training course. So let's get back to this one. In fact, we're going to zoom right in on this image here. Now, let's go back to our Format tab and let's take a look at some of those artistic effects. And again, we have the little preview. And through the magic of live preview, we can see it before we apply it. Now, there's some really cool ones in here. And they take a little bit of a minute to go ahead and apply. And this one called Light Screen looks like you're looking through a screen door, doesn't it? I can go ahead and move down to this one. This one is called Texturizer. And if you look closely, you'll see uh, almost looks like my painting excuse me my picture has been mounted to something with a some sort of a texture to it i have more subtle ones like crisscross etching we have mosaic bubbles blur again looks like my camera was out of focus lots of neat effects again you might not need them every time, but occasionally it might be something that you'd have a use for. Now, I want to show you my favorite, and this is what I'm going to leave us with. It's called Marker, but to me, it kind of looks more like uh, an impressionistic painting, doesn't it? It looks like something perhaps painted by. Monet or Renoir. And those are the artistic effects. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is take a look at removing the background. Now I have an image here. This is Glenn the Raptor. For those of you who are trained signal fans, you recognize him. And it's a great picture of Glenn, but I'd like to pull him out of that black background. Now, I'd like to put him on just a plain white background or maybe on something else, whatever. We're going to go ahead. We're going to click on Glenn. We'll go to our picture tools, contextual tab, click the format button, and all the way over here, the last button on the left side of my ribbon, remove background. I'm going to click there, and look what happens. In fact, let me zoom up here a little bit so it's easier for you to see. It gives me this frame, and everything is highlighted in purple. Now, it, it kind of looks for contrast between colors, high contrast, and it tries to assume you're going to remove those in this area. Now, if I go ahead, I'm going to pull this up so that it's past Glenn's fist there, and I'm going to grab this out to the right like that. See what I'm see what it's doing? It's giving me more area that it will remove. The purple, of course, is the area that's going to be removed. The background. And the stuff that's full color, of course, is still going to stay there. Now, I've expanded that frame as far as I want to, and I still have some issues here, don't I? I don't want to discard this part of Glenn's arm. So what do we do? We go up here to Mark Areas to Keep. We click on that button, and it gives me this little pencil. Now what I'm going to do is click and hold down my left mouse button and drag down to about there and see what happens. See that? Look at that. It went ahead and got rid of that for me, and it even took care of the stuff over here. Not bad, huh? Pretty, pretty cool. So when I get that, just the way I want it, I go ahead up here and select Keep Changes, and there we have Glenn the Raptor on that plain white background. Now, okay, yes, it's not perfect, but you got to admit, it's pretty good. Thanks, Glenn. Thanks for watching. For more information regarding our training, please visit www.trainsignal.com.